Hello everyone! In this video, I quickly go over 20 amazing play-to-earn crypto games and how to make money with them. Most of them are really free to play, and some are available on mobile phones. One game on this list was estimated to be earning people around $390 per week at its highs, and about $100 per week during some lows. So stay tuned to find out which one and remember, it couldn't hurt to play games that helps you invest in crypto, right? So let's get into it now! Number 1. Rev Racing Rev Racing is an arcade simulation automotive racing game on the Polygon blockchain where drivers race against the clock and the leaderboard trying to get that prize money. This game, like its others, makes use of the NFT racing ecosystem so that users with NFT racing vehicles may participate in different races and earn rev tokens. NFTs are used to store all of the game assets, including automobiles and car parts, in the Rev Motorsport ecosystem, allowing users to have complete control over their virtual assets. You own these gaming assets in the same way that you own tangible goods. Number 2. Thetan Arena Thetan Arena is a worldwide, play-to-earn game. This multiplayer online battle arena is a blockchain-based game where players may team up with their friends and battle against other players all around for thrilling prizes, in the game as well as in real life. An individual's talent and strategy are needed to get more out of the game. Thetan Arena includes a variety of game types, but the multiplayer online battle mode is the most popular. Players can participate in five different game types on Thetan Arena, Deathmatch, Battle Royale, Tower Siege, Custom Mode, and Superstar. The gamer has the option of playing with friends or being matched randomly with other gamers from across the world. THC and THG are the two currencies of Thetan Arena, both of which may be exchanged for various items in the game, with THG. When a player wins a game, they receive THC and THG as a reward. Number 3. Meta Wars Utilizing the Wars token, Meta Wars is a massive multiplayer strategy and role-playing space adventure game powered by blockchain technology. Pick your own path and influence every key event in the galaxy with a large array of NFTs. And as wars flare and nations crumble, it's up to you to claim your part of the enormous riches that await. There are no limits to what you can do with Meta Wars. Take part in community governance activities, users may earn prizes, get access to the play-to-earn environment, and engage in the everlasting community. Number 4. Mines of Dalarnia There are many different areas to explore and materials to be found in Mines of Dalarnia. Players must acquire the necessary resources to enhance their characters and equipment. As a play-to-earn game, Mines of Dalarnia allows players to gain tokens in a variety of ways, including performing in-game tasks, introducing friends to join, and winning competitions. Landowners can also make money by renting out their land to prospectors. Number 5. Guild of Guardians Guild of Guardians is a mobile NFT role-playing collectible game available for free to everyone, where players form groups to travel through dungeons to harvest materials that can be traded for money. Heroes and even their pets, which are NFT objects as well, may also be found in the game. The Guild of Guardians, or GOG, token serves as the basis for the game's economy and currency, as a reward for completing in-game tasks, completing daily activities, completing leaderboards, and creating blockchain things for guilds to sell. The token will be made available to GOG token holders, who may also participate in the project's management. Player-created teams of guardians will battle against each other in a guild for incredible, tradable prizes. Number 6. Defy Kingdoms Defy Kingdom is an amazing NFT game. Each NFT is called Heroes, and there are a variety of hero classes with differing stats that are beneficial for objectives. You may want to use a different hero for a certain mission if the first one doesn't work out. You get jewel tokens, skill points, experience, and in-game materials for completing quests. You can sell your NFT heroes to make money, join a liquidity pool which is awesome, and of course, you can stake jewel but also just playing the game will allow you to earn tokens. Number 7. Splinterlands Similar to Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone, Splinterlands is a blockchain-based, free-to-play digital collectible card game. Based on the player's ranking, 
they compete against each other and the winner receives a prize. Increase your rank and reap the benefits of your success by winning more battles. The Summoner's Spellbook is required to gain actual money from the game, allows for gameplay earnings, a unique username, and access to your blockchain account keys, among other things. In-game, you may buy the Summoner's Spellbook for $10. With this Summoner's Spellbook in your possession, you may also buy $2 booster packs. Number 8. Surf Invaders Surf Invaders is a throwback surfing-themed top-down shooter. You'll be surfing through amazing flooded cityscapes as you master the controls, dodge as many hazards as possible, and earn as many bonuses as you can to find the finest surfing routes and enjoy the longest runs. Performing acrobatics, collecting plastic, and dodging obstacles will earn them points along the way. Those who get the most points in Surf Invaders will get a cut of the Aloha platform's profits. Number 9. Gods Unchained The free-to-play competitive card game, Gods Unchained, is all about creating great decks and employing fighting tactics which are both necessary strategies for players to succeed. You can compete in arenas, win and gather cards through matches, purchase, and sell cards in the in-game market and create a deck to top the leaderboards in Gods Unchained. You may play the game without paying a cent, though not pay to win. It focuses mostly on fair competition. It's common practice in NFT games to make money by making and selling coins. Gods Unchained, on the other hand, is a completely other animal. You'll need to list your cards for sale in order to make any money. The higher the quality of your cards, the more expensive they will be. Depending on your cards, you may be able to make a fair profit if you find a buyer. Number 10. Farmer's World As the first agricultural game to utilize the NFT's technology, Farmer's World is a significant milestone for the genre. Farming in the Farmer's World's ecosystem is a rewarding experience, and you'll be able to purchase land and choose the best equipment, supplies, and land to fit your needs. Farmers in Farmer's World may grow gold and NFTs through mining and playing. Gold and wood, on the other hand, may be used by farmers to make and repair their own hardware. Explore food by fishing, then use food to boost your strength stat. Number 11. Crypto Blades Crypto Blades is a pretty cool NFT role-playing type game. The game rewards players with their skill tokens for completing all the fun in-game challenges. Fighting in Crypto Blades is the best method to gain skill the token for Crypto Blades. You may have the ability to put your character to the test, but battle is the essence of the game. Also, you must pick a player and a weapon before you may engage in combat. Players are in charge of their NFTs, which are basically just their characters and weapons, and will also have the authority to sell and exchange them. Number 12. Coin Hunt World I like this game because we go for walks all the time and collect keys. Coin Hunt World is a free-to-play or pay-to-play geolocation game for mobile devices. Blue keys are found in the real world and used to access blue vaults by players. Whenever a vault is unlocked, a trivia question is presented to you. Using Coin Hunt, you may earn cryptocurrency while exploring your area, unlock prizes with the help of hidden keys, and you can play alone or in a group. But playing Coin Hunt World is enjoyable for both novice walkers and those who spend a lot of time planning their routes to acquire as many keys and vaults as they can. Referrals from friends and family are a lucrative source of income for some people too. Number 13. Zed Run Zed Run is a virtual horse racing platform where anybody can purchase, trade, race, and breed their own digital NFT racehorse. The horses in Zed Run are represented by NFTs, and because every horse is different, you can wind up with a champion stallion, or you might end up with a horse that is more suited to becoming a stud. In this game, you can own your own racehorses and profit from them. It is a great game for those who love the horse races and crypto. Number 14. Alien Worlds Alien Worlds is a game where players compete utilizing unique digital objects or NFTs, gain Trillium TLM, the in-game money, and travel on alien world missions to the planet. When it comes to the alien worlds, players battle for rare resources and digital objects, gain Trillium, the in-game money, in a boosted economy focused around planets, and travel to do missions. Although Trillium mining is currently the only way to play and earn on alien worlds, you'll need mining equipment and access to terrain that may contain Trillium. And also in the event that mining occurs on a property, 
the landowner gets paid a fee. Number 15. Forest Knight With simple mobile gaming and blockchain technology, Forest Knight delivers a great journey, a gripping tale, distinct heroes with specific skills, as well as individual NFTs built for each hero. Tokens may be used to buy things like weapons, skins, and virtual territories. Players in Forest Knight may put together their ideal squad and see things through the lens of the Forest Knight in the strategic mobile game. Number 16. Chain Guardians Chain Guardians takes a lot of cues from the worlds of anime, fantasy, and comic book heroes. The Chain Guardians NFT mining component is the most advanced. The RPG aspects of Chain Guardians are getting better and better as part of the game's long-term development plan. For the most part, the gameplay in Chain Guardians is driven by NFTs and the game may be played either as a regular RPG or as an NFT mining platform. Number 17. Gala Gala is a play-to-earn gaming platform built on the blockchain that rewards players with Gala tokens when they reach certain goals inside the game. Aside from the game, users may produce and sell NFTs for other virtual assets or in the game itself to enhance their virtual experience. While playing Gala, players are able to earn digital currency and secure NFT assets with intrinsic worth. Additionally, gamers may have a vote in what kinds of games Gala should create and add to the platform. More than 1.3 million monthly active users and 26,000 NFTs sold since Gala games start in 2019, with the most valuable NFT valued at $3 million, according to CoinMarketCap data. Number 18. Decentraland. Decentraland is amazing. You can build and play micro games, as well as earn NFTs and wearable items in this virtual world. These assets can then be sold for a profit. You can also win mana, NFTs, and wearables by playing popular casino games at the Decentraland casinos. Also, digital real estate and art may be purchased, traded, and created in the 3D virtual environment. There is no limit on what you may buy with mana, which includes land lots, clothing, and other valuables. The game's land plots are referred to as land. Mana may be used to purchase land tokens, which can then be used to create a variety of different types of structures, from retail establishments and art galleries to casinos. There are several ways to make money here. You can make money by buying and selling land, as well as holding onto mana, Wearables are also on sale. Play games there that pays you to play. You can be employed by decentralized games. Make a claim to a distinctive name. Achieve objectives. Purchase and sell land in NFTs, as well as participate in games and events. Number 19. Sandbox The Sandbox is an Ethereum blockchain-based virtual environment where users may create, control, and monetize their own game experiences. It allows non-technical people to construct, market, utilize, and monetize their own virtual reality NFTs. This virtual world's in-game economy is based on its native coin, Sand. The Vox editor is crazy. You can create voxel models, then rig and animate them very quickly. The Sandbox NFT marketplace lets you upload, publish, and sell your NFT creations. And the open marketplace is where tokenized assets may be traded freely. Also. 3D games may now be made by anyone for free using the Sandbox Game Maker. This platform allows you to create, distribute, and monetize your own 3D games with no knowledge of coding necessary. Okay, now the game I mentioned in the beginning of the video making people around $390 at the highs and $100 at the lows per week. Axie Infinity, number 20. This digital pet community, Axie Infinity allows you to acquire animals, known as axes, and utilize them in battles, exploration, and breeding. The blockchain-based game allows gamers to buy NFTs of these creatures and then compete against one another in battles. To earn cryptocurrency, a player must assemble a squad of three axes and engage in combat with either bot monsters in adventure mode or other players in arena mode. Complete daily tasks and challenges is also another way to get additional currency. Reading Axies has brought in a lot of money for players as well. The rarity and power of the Axie determines its market worth. There are Lunacia land parcels, which are still in development, which may be purchased by players. As NFTs in the game's environment, 
a player can purchase a piece of land here and utilize it as their primary center of operations. Plots may be rented out to other players, and they can be customized to suit the individual needs of the individuals who own them. This is such a great game to earn crypto while you play, and can be the most lucrative at times. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned about some cool NFT play to earn crypto games. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more ways to earn crypto cash.